Number 22, find f derivative at x at each point where the derivative exists. So f derivative exists in other button each point in For example, the first the a part, the function is the function is minus x over x minus one the whole square. So we need to find the derivative of this function first. So to find the derivative of this function, we will apply the quotient rule. So minus x over x minus one the whole square derivative, okay, uh, requires the quotient rule. So using quotient rule, we can do this as minus x derivative times x minus one the whole square minus minus x times x minus 1 the whole square derivative over over x minus 1 the whole square and we square it the power of 4 so uh, we apply quotient rule and obtain this thing so uh, x minus 1 the whole square derivative means this part the derivative of this part is x minus 1 the whole square derivative means uh, 2 times x minus 1 okay this is 2 times x minus 1 so in place of here we will replace 2 times x minus 1 so the the result becomes here minus x derivative is minus 1 so it becomes x minus 1 the whole square plus x into 2 times x minus 1 okay over x minus 1 the power of 4 so uh, we can further simplify this thing and obtain minus x minus 1 plus 2x over x minus 1 the whole cube so this means x plus 1 over x minus 1 the whole cube this is our f derivative so for a part f derivative is x plus 1 over x minus 1 the whole cube so f derivative exists our f derivative exists for every x except 1 f derivative cannot be 1 so it exists for every x except 1 the b part uh, the b part is our function f of x is f of x is x times e is a power of minus ln x okay uh, this function is defined for x greater than zero and different from one first of all uh, but we can further rewrite this thing as x times uh, minus ln x means using the rule for logarithm we can write 1 over x okay so this becomes x times uh, 1 over x which is 1 which is 1 so f of x can be written as like this the simplified form of this function is f of x is 1 so its derivative becomes the derivative of this function is 0 so f derivative at x exists exists everywhere except there i mean ex exists f derivative exists at x greater than zero and different from one from the very beginning x can't be negative number x can't be uh, one so f derivative exists uh, at this values of x now the c part in c we have the function f of x which is x plus absolute value of x so uh, its derivative becomes f derivative becomes the derivative of x plus one or i mean absolute value of x so this means this means x derivative plus the derivative of absolute value of x which is 1 plus the derivative of absolute value of x 
but what is the derivative of absolute value of x so here let me show you the separately absolute value of x is the same as square root of x square so the derivative of absolute value of x means the derivative of square root of x square which is the same as the inner derivative x square derivative over 2 times square root of x square so this means 2x over 2 times square root of x square which is x over square root of x square square root of x square is absolute value of x so the derivative of the derivative of absolute value of x is x over square root of i mean x over absolute value of x so the derivative of f becomes 1 plus x over absolute value of x so this is our f derivative so f derivative at x exists everywhere everywhere except at zero we can't make x is equal to zero at f derivative so this is the answer for c part and d for the function in d f of x is x minus 7 times absolute value of x minus 7 so its derivative becomes we will apply product rule its derivative becomes x minus 7 derivative times absolute value of x minus 7 plus x minus 7 times z derivative of absolute value of x minus 7 so the derivative of this part is 1 so it becomes 1 times x minus absolute value of x minus 7 plus x minus 7 times the derivative of absolute value of x minus 7 means x minus 7 over absolute value of x minus 7 okay so the derivative of this part is like this so it becomes absolute value of x minus 7 plus x minus 7 the whole square over absolute value of x minus 7 so this is our first derivative so f derivative exists exists for every x except 7 we can't take x is equal to 7 in f so this is the answer for d part okay when we come to the e part uh, our function is our function is e the power of x over uh, square root of 3 is the power of 2x minus 1 this is our function okay so uh, we will evaluate its derivative okay the derivative of this function should be evaluated so uh, its derivative will be obtained by using the derivative for quotient rule so this becomes e the power of x derivative times uh, in the radical 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 you can make it 9 the power of x for uh, simplicity times e the power of x times the derivative of radical 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 derivative over over uh, radical 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 square it okay we square it here uh, we have to underline that x cannot be 0 okay whenever x is 0 uh, the function f will be undefined so uh, we can't take x zero the other thing we can't take uh, x less than zero okay so uh, the domain for f should be x greater than zero okay we always take x greater than zero so that f will be defined now we are calculating f derivative so our f derivative becomes uh, is a power of x is uh, derivative of e the power of x is itself times radical uh, 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 minus this is in the radical minus e to the power of x times the derivative of uh, uh, radical 
3 to the power of 2x minus 1 means uh, ln, ln 9 times 3 to the power of 2x over 2 times in the radical 3 to the power of 2x minus 1. So you have to check. Uh, I need you to see this thing because it requires uh, its own calculation. So uh, I got this thing over the squared value of radical 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 means 3 to the power of 2x minus 1. Okay. So uh, when we rearrange and simplify this thing, we get uh, 2 times e to the power of x in the bracket 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 minus 3 to the power of 2x times ln 3 over over 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 the power of 3 over 2 this is uh, my simplified form you can have different ways of writing the derivative of this function okay uh, but for me, uh, I got comfort to write the, the derivative in this way. So this derivative or f derivative exists at some, at some values. So this derivative exists for every x greater than 0. Okay. When we come to the solution for f part, in f the function is, the function is the logarithm of x square times e to the power of x in base x square okay uh, to answer this part we have to rewrite this logarithm in expanded form so this means logarithm of x square in base x square plus logarithm of e to the power of x in base x square okay so we can rewrite like this because we know that logarithm of uh, x times y in base a is logarithm of x in base a plus logarithm of y in base a. So I applied this rule to rewrite the given function. So uh, logarithm of x square in base x square is 1. Okay, because logarithm of logarithm of a in base a is 1. If we have similar things, it becomes 1 plus logarithm of uh, e to the power of x in base x square so we can rewrite again this thing as 1 plus uh, we can take down this power here and we can take this exponent as a reciprocal here times logarithm of e in base x so this becomes 1 plus x over 2 times logarithm of e in base x but but logarithm of e in base x is the reciprocal of ln of x 1 over ln x so this means 1 plus 1 plus x over 2 times ln x okay still this is function f this is f of x so now it's very easy to calculate f derivative f derivative becomes the derivative of 1 plus x over 2 ln x okay so the derivative of the constant function is 0 so it becomes x over 2 times ln x derivative okay which is half of x over you can take out the constants so apply quotient rule so the derivative of this function becomes uh, the derivative of this function becomes 1 minus ln x over 2 times 2 times ln x the whole square okay this is our our derivative this is f derivative okay so this f derivative exists obviously f derivative exists exists at x greater than 0 and x different from 1 or you can make it like this f derivative exists in this interval from 0 up to 1 
union one up to infinity excluding one okay here the g part is f of x is equal to ln of ln x the power of x okay by the way uh, if you understand the g part and the i part uh g na i part and understand that everything regarding derivative understand that uh, it requires some technical games okay uh, but i'm ka logarithm ga attach another uh, one concept so we cannot directly solve the derivative we prefer to rewrite this uh, function in some other form using the concept of logarithm so uh, i i want to remind you something for example and d mallet in a mallet e the power of logarithm of e and the mallet in chalan or e the power of a is e the power of uh, lan a mallet in chalan this is one of the rule of logarithm so i will apply this thing so f of x can be written as other ways of writing this function is uh, e the power of lan of lan uh, x mallet chalan lan x the power of x mallet chalan okay if you fail to understand this thing okay a function and a function the same one actually understand color dragon don't see the next step try to understand this first so uh, now i'm going to calculate the derivative of this function by converting in this form its equivalent form so now f derivative can be easily calculated uh, by taking the second part we take e is a part of ln of ln x the power of x okay or you can rewrite this thing as and it are again balila form lens of uh, we can write e the power of x ln of ln x okay and as the argument of inchalan so now we can take the derivative of this function so using the the derivative for exponential x ln of ln x derivative okay times e the power of x ln of ln x okay and as you matter again chalan so uh, now the derivative of this part this requires product rule and chain rule so many on our no x derivative times ln of ln x plus x times x times the derivative of ln of ln x derivative times times this part okay uh, in place of this part you can write uh, ln of x the power of x okay here now uh, here the same silicone so uh, now x derivative is one one times ln of ln x plus x times the derivative of this expression requires chain rule so you can write like this ln x derivative over ln x times ln x the power of x okay so uh, this can be written as this can be written as ln of ln x plus 1 over uh, 1 over ln x ln x times ln x the power of x okay this is our first derivative 
okay so uh, special derivative which are loo soon left channel video uh, sarah la chual loo with the source the function of chalu and soon understand in the third of the legal link for now this is our f derivative so this f derivative exists this f derivative exists for for x greater than zero and different from one you can't make it x is equals to one in this uh, f prime so that f prime exists here for such x values or you can okay the solution for h part in h we have the function f of x which is 3 to the power of 2x times logarithm of x square plus 3 in base 3 or this can be written as 9 to the power of x times logarithm of uh, x square plus 3 in base 3 this is our function so this function if you see the domain of this function uh, it's all real number okay the domain of this function is all real number x can be any number so that f will be defined but our objective is finding the derivative where uh, it exists so the derivative of this function is uh, taken as 9 the power of x times logarithm of x squared plus 3 in base 3 derivative we apply product rule for derivative so this becomes 9 the power of x derivative times the logarithm of x squared plus 3 in base 3 plus 9 the power of x times the derivative of logarithm of x squared plus 3 in base 3 okay so uh, we can take uh, 9 the power of x derivative means uh, 9 logarithm of I mean uh, I can make ln 9 times times 9 the power of x okay this is the derivative of 9 the power of x times logarithm of x squared plus 3 in base 3 plus 9 the power of x times you need to understand the log the derivative of this part so the derivative of uh, this logarithm is 2x over over x squared plus 3 times ln 3 ln 3 okay so uh, the derivative of the given function becomes f prime becomes uh, 9 the power of x or ln 9 times 9 the power of x times logarithm of x squared plus 3 in base 3 plus uh, 9 the power of x over ln 3 times 2x over x squared plus 3 this is the derivative you may rewrite this thing in some other different forms but our objective is to find the point in which f derivative exists so f derivative at x exists for every x exists for all x an element of real number okay it exists everywhere there is no undefined case for f derivative so the last one is the i part the when we come to the i part our function f of x is x is a power of x is a power of 2 so to find the derivative of this function first we have to convert this in its equivalent form so x is a power of x is a power of 2 can be written as e to the power of logarithm of e to the power of x to the power of x to the power of 2 okay this means e to the power of uh, x square times logarithm of x in base e logarithm of x in base e means ln x so x square ln x so so x to the power of x to the power of 2 is the same as e to the power of x square ln x you need to understand this this relationship okay don't go for the next step if you if you don't understand this thing 
So this relationship is very important to find the derivative of the given function. So now I can write this thing f of x as f of x can be written as x square x to the power of x to the power of 2 can be written as e to the power of x squared ln x. So now we can we can find the derivative of this function. f prime means e to the power of x squared ln x derivative. Okay, this means x squared ln x derivative times e to the power of x squared ln x. Okay, now we can apply product rule for this part. Using product rule, it becomes x squared derivative times ln x plus x squared times ln x derivative times e to the power of x squared ln x. Okay, so this means 2x, 2x ln x plus x squared times ln x derivative means 1 over x times e to the power of x squared ln x. Okay, this can be written as uh, 2x ln x plus x squared over x means x e to the power of x squared ln x. So in place of uh, here e to the power of x squared ln x, you can substitute the original expression. So 2x ln x plus x times x to the power of x to the power of 2 molecule. So our f derivative is this one. So f derivative at x exists, exists where ln x is uh, defined. That means for x greater than 0 where x is different from 1. Okay, so this is how you can respond.